Switzerland, we, are, we as a government, we have directly benefited from that close interaction with academia. And it's, first of all, it's interesting to note there is not a lot of expertise around in the world, so you cannot look only at the next university we are sitting to, to find the insight, because you need a lot of analytical work that we as a small government are not able to undo. We need also someone looking at these issues who has the time to, to fully look at that and then bring in a broader perspective and also perspective that is not limited through our direct policy objectives. We all government, we have direct policy objectives and even if we try not to do so, it limits our approach of looking at, at certain specific questions. One uh, of, the area of the activities and interaction with academia we have strongly benefited was the Global International Governance Forum that you, Maria Ivanova, have organized in Lyon. That was for us tremendously helpful. First of all, to bring together all the former executive director and the, and the current of UNEP, and then to allow for interaction between academics, between uh, part, partners from different global institutions that do not always speak together in such a frank and open manner. I can say that academia has got a unique position in this process because there are very technical issues in UNEP. First of all, they need to interpret these issues to the people, you see? And at, at the university, we offer one important service, which is education. And the universities can take this as a challenge and be able to, to spread environmental education right from the primary schools at the beginning to the university level. Science and policy are two interesting parts of the same uh, problem and uh, they complete each other. Science provides the knowledge, uh, policy uses scientific data for decision making. They don't always speak the same language, which is a small problem and uh, it's not uh, impossible to resolve it. Uh, science uh, addresses policy issues or societal issues, knowledge issues, uh, framing them as uncertainty, certainty, and policy cannot use this language because uh, they need values, beliefs, and they have to talk to people who cannot interpret this uncertainty. Creo que la ciencia tiene que tener su nivel de aporte de elementos básicos, pero son los decisores políticos los que deben de tomar las resoluciones. Con todo el arsenal que la ciencia determina, con el estado de conocimiento de cada uno de los aspectos que hacen a las cuestiones medioambientales. Scientists when we look at the global issues, the issues in the north and the south, in the developing and developed countries are completely different, as you know. When we talk about environment, uh, your perception of environment and our perception of environment, you know, uh, are quite different. I mean, when we deal at, with the issues. So, um, so scientists really need to uh, work together, was, uh, you know, from the two worlds and at the same time also shape the, uh, the, the national, the regional, as well as the global policies so that you know, most of the issues of environment and development are actually addressed. So you need to link uh, you know, the, the academia or the, you know, and also influence policy makers. My vision is that we, we, we uh, realize this in a way where scientific community via some kind of uh, uh, scientific group comes to tell the politicians, the, the ministers, uh, to their meetings uh, what out of the big environmental reports we have are the biggest environmental challenges as a whole, kind of like knit them together. And then the ministers have to do policy according to that. And then, then also the scientific community could, could uh, make uh, suggestions on, on solutions as well.